I love you, beautiful. Have a great day. Your husband. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. Y'all, I'm not even going to say I'm stressed out. I'm just overwhelmed, for real. I don't really even know what to say or how to say I feel. I just want to smoke. Like, I can't eat. I don't know. My thoughts is just, like, all over the place. Cap done sent me some more flowers. Which, they are pretty, by the way. But I just feel like... Flowers is just, I don't know. Gifts and stuff is not always the way to fix everything. I don't know, I still just be feeling like sometimes I just need my space. Hold on, let me turn this air off. So I just be feeling like, yeah, flowers is cool and all, but is that really supposed to change anything? No, they're, ju they're just flowers. Let me call my mama. Tell my mama I'm stressed out. Let me show her these flowers. It's smoking. I'm stressed out. Why are you stressed out? No. I love you, beautiful. Have a great day. Your husband. <laughs> what? I feel like. Are you ready? Huh? Ready to put them on your, on your fingers. Mm-mm. <laughs> My mind. That little baby sleep. Look at this vase. Ain't it cute? Yes. I think it's from the same company. But I just Walk, feel like. Mark that out and keep it because that's like your little accent and your little. This one is red and the other one is purple. The other yeah. one. Hold on. Man, you got two cute vases. Yeah. And this is a short one. The other one tall. Yeah. But yeah, so I was just telling them on the vlog, like, gifts and stuff is cool, but like, do that really change anything? I don't like to feel like I'm being bribed with stuff for me to change my mind. Like, I want to feel like it because in my heart, I feel like it. You know what I mean? Not because of what somebody doing for me. Exactly. Because I feel like, well, I've been in that, in that situation before mm -hmm. when the person thinking that that they, start thinking that they can do whatever they want to because they'll just buy you a nice gift and you'll take them back. Yeah. You know, I want someone to be genuinely, genuinely feel sorry. Forget a gift. Right. I want you to genuinely want to change certain things about yourself. Not just give me flowers and I, you know what I'm saying, forgive you and it's the same stuff. You can tell somebody changed by the conversations, by the how you're talking. If you feel like things seem like the same way, then they haven't changed. Gifts is not going to change. Somebody. Right. Them buying gifts is just saying sorry, but have you really changed? No. And it's like, yeah, I appreciate the flowers. Yes, they are beautiful and all that, but what does that really do for me? I still feel how I feel with flowers or without flowers. I feel like actions is the only way to show somebody change. You mm -hmm. got to show it to prove it. Gifts is not going to prove to you that somebody changed. That's just saying sorry. Right. But did you change? At the end of the day, did you change? Because gifts don't mean nothing like that. Just saying sorry. I'm so sorry. Here's a gift. But at the end of the, at the, end of the day, did you change? Only time will tell. If someone truly changed, or if they're working on the situations that y'all having problems with. I mean, y'all, just like the little issues that you have, it, do you see the person trying to resolve those issues? That's what's important. It's like, I see it, but I don't really know if it's like a stunt. You know what I'm saying? Just for me to be like, okay, yeah. Like, okay, come back. Let's make things work. I don't know if it's just that motive. Right. Like, you know what I mean? Really, it just, I mean, nothing dramatically happened, you know. But I know yeah, you it's don't not, want to go through the, 
yeah it's not like nothing dramatic happened but it's just like i don't want to keep going through the same thing every time you know i feel like if you have a situation it's a problem y'all have to be adults come together make it work the answer is not i pack up my stuff and i'm gone that's not the answer Mm -hmm. because now you run it from me um, and then i'm supposed to be like yeah just come back like everything Mm. My emotions is like all over. I don't know what to think, what, how to feel. One day I feel like this. One day I feel like, yeah, let's be together. One day I feel like, no, I want my space and I just want to be by myself. Mm -hmm. Cause you think another thing you're probably thinking about what you just went through. That stuff be still fresh in your head. Yeah, and it's wow. like it's stuff just That's happened. Really. Yeah, you need time to really think about what you really want to do. I can't just think about it in a week or a couple of days. Like, okay, yeah. Because we don't really know if that's the right thing. We already tried that before. So. Girl, you got to, I'm going to tell you this. You have to pray. And be careful what you ask for. You have to pray for help. God help you make a decision here. And you will receive a decision. Even if you woke up the next day and you feel like. I always I'm say that. I'll be like, God, please send me a sign if if it's not meant or if it's meant. Like, just send me a sign. It could be somewhere on a billboard. It could be somewhere on the game. It, anywhere. Just tell me, like, if it's meant for us to be together. If it's not, then it's not. I just don't want to see you hurt. I just don't want to see you, like, sad. Because that hurts me to see you in that situation then yesterday i was crying all day because it's like he's hurting so i'm hurting that he's hurting and it's just like hearing everything he's saying like he can't live without me and how it feels to be alone it, it's sad yes it's sad but it's like i don't know i don't want to just take somebody back because they're hurting you know what i mean i wanted to really i don't want to feel sorry for yeah you. i don't want to feel like i'm doing it because I, I feel sorry for you yeah it's like i want to actually mean it like i want to actually be together or make things work or whatever but i don't know that's what i'm saying it's like yeah the flowers and stuff are cute but what does that really mean I don't want to just be accepting gifts and every time something like this happens, it's like, oh, I could just send her flowers and she's going to, we're going to be back together. Like, it's not that. The whole, it's a lot that needs to be changed. Child. And flowers is not going to change that. It got to be within you. But I'm not saying he's not trying because he definitely doing everything in his power, but... I don't know. It's just sometimes we still have conversations where it turns into a little argument or it's like we don't agree with what each other is saying. Like, I don't know. Okay, now that you have conversations that may lead to arguing, how do y'all handle that? Do y'all handle it different than what y'all used to? But that could I don't be know fun. because it's hard to really say. I feel like yes now because of the distance. So, of course, he ain't trying to argue. He ain't trying to say nothing wrong. You know what I mean? But I feel like when we're in person, it could be different. It could be different than how it is on the phone. Because he's trying to show me that he's changing. So, if some feel like an argument, he's just like, no, I don't want to argue. And that's not my intentions. But when he get back here and we get into an argument, it could be different. It might not be the same. So, I don't know. I just, I don't know what to think. I don't know what to feel. I don't know what to tell them. Or do you feel like, okay, listen, if you get, if you, if you give this person a chance, do you feel like, do you think y'all got to understand it where, listen, if this time it don't work out, then it's just, we need to just let it walk away. I already told him, if I give him another chance. Mm hmm and it get that bad again it it's just not meant to be like i don't know what else to say sometimes you just can't overstep that to try to make it something it's not like it's just we just don't work and i'm not what saying we don't work because when we are happy and good times we do have a a great time it's like unbreakable y'all already know y'all seen the videos y'all like marisha you're glowing you're happy like i 
yeah, like that's truly how I felt. Like I'm happy, you know what I'm saying? This is everything that I wanted, but it's like, when we down, it's just, it's bad, I don't know. A lot of disrespect and stuff. Yeah, like, mm-hmm. And I know everything is unforgivable, but it's just like, is this really what we want to do? You know what I mean? Because I be feeling like when somebody mad and they say stuff, that's truly how they feel. Like they say when you're drunk, that's truly how, how you feel. But also, also people can say things to hurt you because they're mad. Mm -hmm. I ain't going to lie like that. They can be evil like that too. Yeah. They're mad and it's it's breaking up time. They'll say some stuff that hurt, try to hurt you. Mm -hmm. But yeah, at the time, do you really mean what you said or what? Why? Because a, a lot of people told me that 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 they said it because they was mad. But in my mind, I always I felt like that's what you wanted to say. Right. You or you've been <laughs> thinking that before. You just waiting on right. the moment to say it. Like now that we're into it, you could feel free to say whatever you want. But of course, when we on good terms, nobody's gonna say how they really feel if it's something bad. You know, like it yeah. just ain't gonna be yeah. like that. If so if you're saying those things. That's how you truly feel about me. Because mm -hmm. love wouldn't have made you say it. If you true like damn, I, I care about her and I'm hurt. You wouldn't say anything to her. Right. And I feel like, yeah, words are just words. Some people is like, words don't hurt. But I feel like to me, t to a degree, words do, hurt. words do hurt. Because it's how you talk to somebody. Like, if my mama was to talk to me and say something to me, I could probably take talking to her. But when my dad say something to me, oh, it hurts ten times worse. It's the voice. It's the, it's the tone. It's how you say it. Like... That's what I feel like be hurting. So you just, I don't know, it kind of give you a different view on that person. But I don't know. Yeah, words can, can hurt. It can be damaging. Because those are some things that you can hold on. Somebody said in the back of your head. Right. It just Now you already like, painted. Yeah, yeah, you already put this in my head. Like, damn, you really said that to me. Like, yeah. I don't know. Like, that's how you really feel. I know exactly what you're saying. I know exactly. And that's hard. That's part of getting over stuff like that. It's, it's part of forgiving and trying to move on. But I'm going to tell you something. It's hard. It's not mm -hmm. easy. It's almost like being cheated on. And mm -hmm. you're wondering if you should go back and all that. And it's hard. You don't know if you should. Words is, can be very damaging. People don't understand that. That shit hurts. Shit. So I just say people said some awful stuff to people and the person couldn't even say nothing. They so in shock. They just bust out crying. Yeah, like sometimes you yeah. just can't help how you feel. I don't know. We are taught, and even when we have children, we are taught to like praise your kids, say these wonderful things to uplift them. Don't knock them down. Don't say these negative things. As an adult, it's the same way. Don't knock me down. Don't hurt me. If you said those things about me, do you truly feel that way about me? Right. Like, damn, that's fucked up. How could you say that? How could you fix your mouth to say things to hurt somebody that you say you love and care about? Never understood that one. I don't do that shit. Yeah, cause see, my mama know because she done been through a lot. Mm -hmm. She way older than me, so her, she already had her fair share. Of different relationships, but oh yeah, I'd have had, I'd, I'd have been through a whole lot. That's uh -huh. why I, I feel, I feel for you. I understand what you're saying, and then and, and knowing what I went through in my life, I be thinking like, damn, I'm I'm trying to prevent her from going through this. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you I, know what it's like to be gifted with sorry gifts, and and then you be thinking like, oh, let me give them a chance because they they went all out and. You know what I mean? But it'd be I, like, is that really worth it? Yeah, I did that so many times. I, I was to a point where I man, don't you buy me nothing else. Don't you buy me nothing else. And it's like, you don't be wanting to just throw the whole relationship away. You just want better. You right. just want them to, to be better. Like, I just want you for you. I don't care what you buy me or, you know what I'm saying? None of that matters. It's all about you. 
the only way you're going to know if somebody's truly changed if you go back into that situation. But then you're wondering, are you wasting my time? Am I still wasting my time? Because what about mm-hmm. if it don't be better? Then you're like, damn. I, uh. Like I could have, from the jump, when I said, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Then you'll be thinking back one day, you'll be like, damn, I wonder if it would have worked if I would have gave another chance. Right. You have- it's yeah. like you really don't know. That's why I'm saying it's like you're torn in between the two. It's like, mm, yes, then it's like, mm, no, I don't know. Yeah, you have to, you have to give yourself some time to think. You have to really feel 100% behind your decision. You, if you're iffy, don't make no moves. Do not make no moves if she is. Yeah, iffy. see, I feel like I'm iffy. Yeah, don't make and no moves. And I feel like he's 100% know what he want to do because he's sorry. You know what I mean? So, of course, you're going to know because you you know what, what you want to do and how you want to go about things moving forward. But me, I'm still, like, in between the two. It's like, yeah, no, yeah, no. Like, I haven't really made a decision 100% yet. Well, there's no rush, but at the same t- time, um, you don't want to keep stringing nobody along either, and you want to kind of like just, you know, move on with your life. Not saying you're ready to go date or somebody, right. but I'm just to move on from that situation. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You just want like, listen, I don't want my mind be geared to that no more. This ain't, you know, let's just, you know, we be cool, we be cool, we be cordial. But some people can't take that. Yeah, some people can't. But a, a person, a real person, will understand if they if they did something wrong, they fucked up. You got to take it like a man. You got to take it like a woman. As I fucked up, and maybe I don't deserve another chance. Mm-hmm. But let this be the let this be a. Uh, uh, example to not right. do this to somebody else in the future. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Oh. I don't know. It's a lot of things. Girl. Yeah, y'all. I don't know. Because I know y'all probably like, where my Risha been? Is she okay? She ain't been posting. It's just, I don't know. A lot of thoughts just be rumbling through my mind. So I don't know. I just don't always want to get on camera if I'm really not in the mood to do so. So, I don't know. But, I be still streaming on Twitch here and there. I might get on there for an hour or two. Every other night or so. Just to to do something to where I'm not just dwelling on stuff. But, yeah. We got some uh, video ideas that's going to be coming up soon that we want to do this weekend. So, stay tuned for that. And, yeah. yeah. I got to get her out of that house. Get her into the filming mood. <laughs> I'm the only one able to get her to do that. <laughs> she the only one that can get me out the house and make it fun and happy and excited and clear my mind from things. So I had to get her over here and get her to do stuff. So, so yeah. So tomorrow, we were supposed to go out to eat today. What time is it? It's three. So we might still. I don't know. Um, This boy Kai been asleep all day. I mean, up all night, so we just letting him really sleep so he don't be cranky, but we might go get some seafood or something. That's what we was thinking about. If not today, tomorrow, for oh, sure. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, we got, like I said, we got a couple of videos we might shoot. Yeah. And, yeah. We got some real lit bangers coming. So... <laughs> I feel like I'm on here looking crazy, like my eyes all big and stuff, and my hair. I'm just, ugh. I'm not. Mm, yeah, we don't do something this evening for show tomorrow. Definitely Saturday, and we're gonna be, we're just gonna take our time, and make a few videos. But yeah, girl, you gonna be yeah. okay. You gonna be okay. So I just wanna let y'all know I'm good. I'm just taking stuff day by day. And uh. Yeah, I just wanted to show y'all that I got some more flowers. <laughs> what? Let me see that. Girl, 
I showed you. <laughs> I thought that was the same one. That's what that purple red. No, look. The purple yeah. one's right there. Oh, yeah, I see. And then these are the red ones. The red ones is pretty. They had a vase and everything. <laughs> yes. So the purple ones ran out of water. Do I need to put water in them? Yeah, you gotta put some more water in them. Okay. Some arrangement comes with with plant food too, you gotta pour that in the water. Yeah, I ain't see no plant food unless it's in between, but I ain't see nothing other than oh. this one, so. I don't but know. yeah, that's what to make them last long and keep them, you know, you know, fresh water. Y'all, I'm getting a load of flowers day by day. Yeah. Tomorrow I might have yellow, I don't know. <laughs> or before they die, you could take a bath. Bubble, you like bubble bath? Put you some Ooh. rose petals. Girl, make you a real girl. girl. <laughs> Rest out. Look, out. That's what you do. Make you a real girl. You gotta make girl with rose, little light a couple can. <laughs> oh my god. All right, y'all. Um, yeah. So I don't know what we finna. We probably finna get on the game for a little while. We can get on the game. We don't got a stream right now. I want to. I want to get on. The yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and edit this video. I'll get this up for y'all. Y'all give y'all opinion what y'all think. Y'all give y'all opinion down below of what y'all think. As in if it was y'all. Because I know y'all can't really speak for me or know the situation yeah. to know. But I'm saying like if it was y'all, what would y'all do? Do y'all just accept sorry gifts? Some girls do. Every time they get a gift, they be like, yeah, I go back. Whether if the man change or not, or do y'all really want to see a change in somebody? I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. So, um, yeah, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I'll see y'all in my next video.